Hey there, and today we're going to have a look at email invoicing in Sage. And we're going to have a look at how we set Sage up so that we can email our, our invoices straight out from our invoice list without having to do uh, lots of clicks and print previews and all of that kind of rubbish. And we're going to set it so we literally just hit the email button uh, and it goes straight into our inbox, ready for us to check the email and hit send on it. And we're also going to have a look at how we set up uh, Sage Pay so that the email invoices that do go out have a nice little Pay Now button on to make it easy for our clients to pay us. So let's get started, shall we? So you can see here, I'm in uh, my uh, Sage account system. I've literally just logged in. You can see I'm using uh, Sage accounts, um, uh, Sage accounts of 2014, and I'm just on the welcome screen. So the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to come up uh, to the settings menu, and we're going to click. Um, company preferences. When this window pops up, uh, this is just the uh, default page that tells us our company details and everything. You can see this in my Broken Stones demo system. And I'm going to come across to the reporting tab here, and I just want to check that that use data path for reports is checked. What that does is that makes sure that all of our invoice layouts are all kept in the same place across the network and it makes it really easy for us to find where those layouts are when we want to put new ones in which I'll show you how we do later today. Okay so next we want to come over to the SagePay tab and this is where we're going to set uh, our system up uh, to make use of SagePay. Uh, if you've not got SagePay yet uh, I recommend you leave this unchecked but I'll run through to show you uh, what we do when you have got it and feel free to come back and reference this video or just give us a call and we can help you through it. So we want to come up to the top here and we want to check the box that says enable Sage Pay. And then we want to just check uh, what our details are in here. You can see uh, this is the vendor name that I've been given from Sage Pay. That's the username I use to log into the Sage Pay system. Uh, that's the uh, oh, that's just email address, and then that's the password that uh, I've been given uh, to log into my Sage Pay account with. Uh, the rest of the settings here, if you just ignore those for the time being. Uh, those are more to do if you want to automatically import the uh, payments which have been made through the system and reconcile them all, uh, but we're not going to cover that today. That's 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 for a future video. Great. Okay, so now we're just going to have a quick check of the uh, email defaults as well. So we're going to hit settings again, and we're going to whiz all the way down to email defaults just down here. And you can see at the top here it says uh, email program Microsoft Office Outlook. That's what we want it to be. Uh, you'll see also in the list we've got the option of webmail. We're not going to cover that um, today, but the option is there if you're not using Outlook for some reason, but I'd highly recommend that you use Outlook for this. Uh, just hit OK, uh, and then we're just going to hit OK again to apply them settings. So the final bit of the settings that we're going to check is our invoice and order defaults, and this is basically setting the default uh, invoice template for when we hit that email button. We're going to hit settings and invoice and order defaults. Pops open this little box here. We can ignore all of these settings, we just want the email tab. You'll see up at the top we've got invoices and that's currently set to email invoice layout. We're going to hit browse and then we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and then we're just going to go up a couple of points on there uh, and then we're going to look for email invoice underscore sage pay layout. And if we just select that and hit OK, you'll notice in the box here that's now changed it. EMA underscore INV underscore Sage Pay layout. Hit OK, and that's those settings done. So now let's look at actually testing that email, shall we? I'm just going to click Customers and Invoice List. I'm going to choose my top invoice here. And you'll see the email button here. If I just click that, that sends it straight out to Outlook and we get a little message pop up that says it's successfully output to email. Now let's go find that in my Outlook. If you just look in your inbox, you should just see the email there. I'm just going to double click it and I'm going to bring it up here and you can see that it's written this email, it's put the two address in and it's attached the invoice as a PDF. We're going to open that up and we're going to have a little look at that and you see we're using the fairly naff standard um, Sage invoice. Our details, customer details, lovely dummy data that we've sold them. And if we scroll down to the bottom of this invoice, you will see 
that we've got a pay now button. What happens when we click that button is it takes us straight through to our Sage uh, Pay payment gateway page and it lets our customer pop the card details in and pay straight away so we get paid nice and quick. Okay, excellent. So once that invoice layout may do uh, everything functionally that we need to do, it does still look a bit naff. Uh, so you'll notice in the email that I've sent you, uh, there's a handy invoice layout download template, which looks a bit nicer and uh, is a bit more on branding with our company. Um, so if you want to go ahead and download that, and I'll show you how we load it in there. Right, so having downloaded the template, I'm just going to go and find it in uh, my computer. So if I just pop open Windows Explorer, uh, I know it's in my downloads folder, and up at the top there you'll see Broken Stones INV Template 1. I'm just going to right click and I'm going to do copy, and I'm going to get rid of that window. Then I'm going to use a handy little feature within Sage, which if we click help, and then we click about, and then it will pop up some information about our system, a few details there and you'll notice this data directory down here and you'll notice that that's a little link so if we go ahead and we click that that handily pops open Windows Explorer almost in the right place but we just want to go one folder up so I'm going to click on my company data there yours will probably say something like uh, company.000 unless you've customized it and in there you'll see a layouts folder double click that just right click and do paste uh, you probably won't get this message because I've already got that template in there. I'm just going to hit replace. It copies the template in, and now that's loaded into Sage for us. So let's go ahead and test it now. Let's just click back to invoice list, and this time we're going to hit the print button, which will pop up and give us a choice of all the layouts. Uh, we'll just click on layouts here, and if we scroll down a bit, you will see a Broken Stones email invoice with Sage Pay. Now, a handy little feature here is if you click the um, yellow star over on the left or it's actually a grey star at the moment so we just click that that actually puts it into our favourites list so it's easy to find there and then we don't have to search the whole list anymore Let's just hit preview and you'll see what it looks like so it's got a company name at the top it tells people clearly it's an invoice uh, we've got a nice blue banner across the top with our phone number and our email address this is all taken from your Sage um, system details, so it will all be customised for you. It's got your customer details and it's got the lovely demo data that we're sending them. And you'll also notice just down here, there's the uh, VAT number. Uh, that will only show up if you've got VAT set up in your system, so don't worry if you're not VAT registered. You won't get that number on your invoices and you won't confuse people. You scroll down to the bottom here and we've got our totals and we've got our lovely pay now button. Then if we look down in the blue bit down here, you'll notice you've got your bank details. These are actually pulled uh, straight from your default Sage bank account. So assuming you set those up right, you'll have your bank details on the bottom of the invoices. Always make it easy for people to uh, pay you. Uh, you'll notice your website at the bottom. Again, that'll take it from whatever you've set up in your company defaults. And you've got your company address down the bottom there. So next, we want to change it so that new template is our default email template. We're going to jump back into settings and invoice and order defaults. And if you remember uh, back at the start, we went to the email tab. And uh, if we just hit browse there now, we can scroll mostly down to the bottom and we're going to find that new template we've loaded in. There it is. Just click on that and click OK. And you'll see in that box it now says Broken Stones Invoice Template Layout. And now when we hit the email button, it drops it out to our inbox. Hit OK, and let's just have a look at that email. You'll see it's popped up, and there's that PDF. You'll notice here uh, in the subject line, it's got our company name and the uh, invoice number. Uh, and then if we double click the PDF and open it up, you'll see we've got the lovely uh, template that we've just uh, had a look at. And that's about it. That's how we go and setting it up. Oh no, actually, oh, there was one last thing I wanted to show you, and that was being able to send multiple invoices at the same time. It's a really handy feature, especially if you're generating um, invoices on a regular monthly basis. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm just going to highlight all three of my invoices here, and hit the email button, 
and uh, then if I just open up these three emails you will see it has actually generated me three separate emails uh, each with the relevant invoice attached and addressed to the relevant person uh, the first two are to the same person there the third you'll notice is to a different email address all I've got to do now is just go through and hit send on each of those emails it's a really great time saving uh, tip uh, we send out 50, 60 emails uh, at the start of every month this way uh, and, it, and, it, and it does save an awful lot of time, believe me. Oh, I nearly forgot. Uh, I've not shown you how we actually set up the customer email address, have I? Just jump over to customer list and double click on one of the customers. And you'll uh, notice here we're just on the details tab for this customer, up at the top, default tab, and you've got an email one box. And in that email one box, I put an email address. And that is where you're going to put the email address that you want to send your customers' email addresses to. So whenever you generate uh, a email invoice, that is the email address which will pick up. That's how we've set the templates up. So if you ever find that it generates a uh, email invoice and it's not put the email address in, the first thing you want to do is jump into the customer record and look at that email one box. And I think that really is it now. If you've got any questions at all, you've got all our contact details um, below uh, and in the email. Just feel free to uh, give us a shout. And as I've said before, we do do a fully managed setup service if you don't fancy running through this yourselves. Uh, we look forward to speaking with you in the future. And if there's any other things you'd like me to cover in Sage, just feel free to uh, drop us a note over with what you'd like me to cover. Thanks for watching.